What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm at Yankee Stadium. We're here for the launch of Arena Club. So a company that's here to change the hobby for the better. This is a company that I actually showed an in-depth look at in one of our recent videos. So definitely check that if you have not. But this is founded by Derek Cheater and Brian Lee here. We are here to show you guys the launch event and also some of the game maybe. And maybe some content with Derek Cheater. My childhood hero growing up, I grew up a baseball fan only. So I love basketball, football now. Baseball was my sport growing up. Yankees were my team and my favorite player was Derek Jeter. So really blessed to be here. I want to show the event to you guys, vlog it, take you guys with me. So that's what we're gonna be doing here today. Showing the event, maybe showing some game, having a good time, showing the whole experience we're here for and uh, maybe, maybe, maybe some Derek Jeter action. Additionally, we're actually doing a little giveaway once again, something really cool. We have a signed Derek Jeter jersey number being given away. Uh, you can use my code PACMAN. So links down below for Arena Club. Use my code whenever you place a grading order of $50 plus get $10 off. So there's also special launch pricing that's cheaper than it will actually be uh, once launch is over. Use that plus my code and you'll get a little cheaper. Anyone who uses my code up until the end of the month is entered into the drawing to win the Derek Jeter signed jersey number. So it's a really cool piece. And uh, yeah, so it's gonna be a great time. Definitely check it out if you're interested. Really cool stuff going down. Great changes for the hobby. I think stuff that everyone's really gonna be excited for. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, let's see what we have in store for today. Really excited to get into it. So we're all kind of looking for something that moves this hobby forward, right? We're all looking to improve the status quo, and I think that's what we really try to achieve with Arena Club. It's the grading aspect, yes, but it's also this 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 trading platform that basically allows for you know, a, a vast improvement over what exists today. My parents used to collect all my cards for me. Like I would have signs when I was younger, I ship them to them, and they hold them. We lost up all of them in a flood. Yeah, years ago. Yes. Oh, so you talk about being a bridge between the physical world, the digital world, and the arena club. It makes a lot of sense. So, yeah, I know firsthand what it feels like to lose it. <laughs> So first of all, I want to say thanks to Arena for having me out at the event and also for helping make this video possible. You might be wondering why there's a voiceover to this part of the video. The audio didn't pick up too well in this room. I do have audio, but it's just not the best. You really couldn't hear too much. Um, but mainly they're discussing the platform and kind of their passion for what they do, some other cool things. Now, by now, you guys probably know I partnered with them uh, mainly to help grow, build the platform, do promotion stuff, obviously, like fun content, things like that. And uh, just overall create an environment where we're all winning, taking something great away from this. So for those unfamiliar with the platform, it's kind of an all-in-one experience where you can buy your cards, sell, uh, trade with people, and trading is absolutely free as well. Then you can grade your cards. So with grading, the way I describe it is you're very fast, accurate, consistent, and transparent, most importantly, uh, in terms of the grades, and something overall I'm very excited about. So uh, any feedback you guys have, definitely send my way. I've sent tons of stuff on my own already over to help improve the platform and um, have a lot of input in some of those stuff that kind of just helps make it better. And so anything you guys have, do send it my way. Now, early on in the process, I obviously met the team when kind of the thing was being built and I once again had the input and some of the stuff you see there. But I've not yet met Jeter actually. So I never got the chance to, was really looking forward to it. And I assumed I would hopefully get a chance to meet him at the event. Now, I actually ran into him first at the bathroom. <laughs> So uh, I was on my way out and he was on his way in and I saw a familiar face and I was just like, hey, like that's Derek Jeter. Said hi real quick. Didn't want to obviously make it too awkward or anything like that. Totally how I planned it to kind of go out and first meet him. But yeah, so bathroom of all places and um, then saw him again later on as you'll see in this video. But yeah, just a quick little funny story of how I first ended up meeting him of all places. But um, yeah, so then here is the pricing. So the pricing here is uh, currently the launch special pricing that you see. Use my code once again, literally just a code for you guys to save some money, uh, $10 off. Uh, $50 plus grading orders and that's good one time in every single account. So why not save some money? Yeah, if you're interested and um, yeah, so those are the prices then any question you guys have feel free to ask I'll try to help out and once again I want to make this something great for everyone and um, make sure that this is the best it possibly can be so you have any kind of suggestions, questions, do feel free to ask. Now let's get into the very fun part where we get to do some content with Jeter. All right, so huge, huge treat. I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Derek Jeter. It's an honor to meet you, man. I'm here with Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man. <laughs> He said my name. Um, yeah, this is so cool. So we're gonna do some fun things. We're gonna chat a little bit. We also have some boxes. I mean, that's what we do here. So we're gonna see if we can pull maybe, maybe Derek Jeter. Let's do it. But uh, yeah, so we launched Arena Club, right? And we actually just heard about the platform itself, really exciting things. And one thing that I heard you mention when we're talking about was collecting as a kid, right? There's a lot of things that I think a lot of us in the hobby grew up as kids collecting and you have the nostalgia, the fun from it. So. I was wondering, everyone has that kind of memory or some great memories from when they were young. What are some things that you have yourself, some of your best memories or best experiences that you think back on uh, from collecting as a kid? Oh man, for me, collecting as a kid was all about the gum. <laughs> 
that's it. That's what it was about. Um, and then, you know, I was a huge Yankee fan. I was born in New Jersey, so I grew up in Michigan, mm -hmm. and my friends were Tiger fans. So just trading cards and trying to accumulate as many Yankee cards as I mm -hmm. possibly could. Big Dave Winfield, Don Mattingly, Willie Randolph, Ricky Anderson. So I would just collect as many Yankee cards as I could. How was the gum? <clears throat> Stale. Stale? Because we opened stale. some old packs, and we got the gum, and everyone's like, eat it, eat it, eat it. I was like... I don't think I want to. This thing is well, old pack. It's about twenty five years old. Yeah, there, it was real crusty, and oh, everyone else was eating it but me. And I was like, <laughs> I was checking on them. They they seem good, but yeah. So uh, it's a lot of fun to see the kind of stuff. And um, I, actually, I mean, they should do that now. I feel like it'd be cool to see a, a little kind of throwback. Put some gum in the packs. Why not? Right. I feel like that'd be a cool thing yeah, to see. Yeah, it's probably a little bit more difficult to get that past people. But well, some of the cards we see today are absolutely nuts. Hopefully, they could put a piece of gum in there. You never know. Uh, approval for. Gum in the pack, maybe a little Yeah, it might be a little trickier. <laughs> who knows? Um, one day, who knows? But uh, another thing. So I was actually looking at your showroom when I was designing my showroom, just to see you know, what other people were doing. I saw some of the cards you have there, really sweet stuff. I was wondering, you know, some of the stuff you have in there, why would you pick that and uh, what are some of the ones you I'm have? I'm being very careful with my showroom mm -hmm. at this particular point. I don't want anyone to know what I value, what I don't value, because I may be trying to get deals. So I'm going to slowly but surely increase my volume in okay. my showroom. But uh, don't expect it too much too soon. Mm -hmm. But we can make some offers and maybe see if they're accepted. And, yeah, go ahead. And your cards can I'll be in some. his showroom and his and yours, which yeah. should be really, really cool. <laughs> So, speaking of some uh, cool cards, these are some very expensive boxes. There's uh, one total card okay. in these boxes, and they're really beautiful stuff. So let's uh, get these boxes open. Let's see what we got. All right, so that, there we go. Here, let me uh, get that yeah. for you. It's impossible to do these without it. All right, get that, like that. All right. So, Dynasty, maybe some uh, Vladdy, maybe some Jeter, maybe some, let's who knows? See. You never yes. know. All right. Maybe it's some gum. Some gum. Maybe our idea isn't as original as we thought. All right, I don't even know how to, you're better than me. <laughs> okay, so it's covered by that. Is it good? You're trying to read me. What you, hmm. All right, let me see mine. You will, are you willing to trade? I am, are you? No. What'd you get? Carl Yastrzemski. Here, wanna get a close up at this card? Look at that. And then hold your breath for it. That's a one of one. So that's a huge, huge card. Look at that. Mm -hmm. What'd you get? All right, ready? Hold your breath. <laughs> Bang. Bagwell. <laughs> nice. Nice. But these are all gonna be in your showroom. So. Yeah, thank you. People could. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so these are both going to his. If you want some of these cards, <laughs> I mean. Any hints to what people could maybe offer you if they want these cards? A lot. You know, I'm a tough negotiator, so, um, and I'll wait you out. <laughs> Do you want Derek Jeter's? Well, someone offers you a nice card I have, yourself. I have a, yeah, I've seen a lot of myself, so I don't know if I'd necessarily trade. All right. So how about myself. this? We have one last one. Okay. Why not try one more? You clearly are extremely lucky. You're better with the scissors. I'll get the scissors, and it's going to be... Kind of tough to top that, but that was a sick card. You have the magic touch, though. Let's we'll see. What do you think, Miss Pac Man? <laughs> Miss Pac is here helping Ms. us Pac out. Miss Pac is helping. Is that the coolest thing? Okay. Okay, wait. Johnny Bench. Oh, sweet. Look at that to 10. Uh -huh. So it's cool if I send you all my boxes and you can open them for me, right? Because clearly. And I just, as long as I can keep as many as I They'll all be in his like. showroom. All in my showroom. <laughs> so his showroom That's is about to get good. pretty juicy. So last thing, wanted to get your reaction on a few things. Okay. So number one, I have my phone here. What are your thoughts? That always scares me when people pull out phones and say, let me show you something on it, the phone. It's nothing that, uh, <laughs> what are your thoughts on, on this? Have you seen this before? He got a oh, beer. Yes, the guy drinking got the beer the, out of a hot dog. Out of a hot dog. Uh, would you ever do that? <laughs> would I ever? No. Neither um, would I. What do you think? I mean, he's wearing the, the Yankees hat, though. So I mean, I can't. I want to. Uh, yeah, I, I. It's not his first time. That's what I would say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't attempt that the first time at the stadium. So I, I yeah. So maybe we'll see this at uh, innovation. Maybe at the game we'll, we'll get one of those. But um, we absolutely will not. <laughs> Ballpark snacks. Do you have a favorite <laughs> snack that you like to do, whether you're watching a baseball game or just anything in general? Ooh, snacks. 
Watching a game like popcorn. Oh, I like popcorn I too. I always like going with the uh, chicken fingers here. And to give you that oh. bucket and the souvenir one, sometimes they'd have uh, some guy wearing number two on there too. I've never eaten here at the stadium. Oh, well, hey, maybe, there's a, maybe the hot dog and the beer. I had peanut butter and jelly in the clubhouse, that's it. <laughs> Love to see it. <laughs> and then um, speaking of trading cards, right? So we've seen some big sales. Okay. Mickey Mantle. Yes. Going for 12 million bucks. I had, I had one of those. Ooh. So what do you think about this going for $12 million? A lot of money. It's a lot of money, yeah, I wish I had it. Um, yeah, it just goes to show you how much this industry has grown. Over crazy, years. crazy, because yeah. years ago we wouldn't see anything close to that. And I saw. Now would you buy it for $12.5 million, hoping to sell it? If someone gives me $12.5 yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, easy. But um, yeah, I think seeing those huge, huge numbers is, is crazy seeing. I think I saw some comparisons where some cards went for like $200, just a few years ago, and all of a sudden, years later, it's selling for people like that's easy, 100,000. So it's cool to see. Next big card, maybe that sells for a million, is yourself? You, maybe if you maybe. run it by Ms. Pac-Man and you spend it. All right, it so that's our, our next goal is make, make Jeter number one. <laughs> but yeah, man, so absolute pleasure. Thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate it, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. and uh, there you go. We opened some packs with Jeter, got some cool stuff. The cards you saw will be offered available for trade on his showroom. So make some offers, see what's going on. And then we're giving away one of these. Is this not beautiful? And first of all, huge, huge props on the autograph. That is Thank beautiful, you. beautiful ink work. So one of these could be yours. Really nice piece as well as the cards. Make some offers. And there you go. So there's the back of it. Very nice slide piece. And who wants it? Anyone who uses our code PACMAN, which is linked down below, linked to a reading club as well, is entered to win one of these till the end of the month. So try luck one of these. Make some offers to Jeter, or maybe you like some of my cards, which aren't as cool. You can make some <laughs> offers there as well. But hey, pleasure once again. Thank you so Appreciate much. It. It's an honor to meet you. Me, and there you go. Derek Jeter on the channel. Who ever thought? And Miss Pac-Man. And Miss Pac-Man. You can't bring in uh, cameras, so I have to use my phone. But good game so far. Yankees down one right now to the end of the game, and uh, hoping we can pull it off. Going into the bottom of the ninth, down one. Hopefully, someone can save the day. Yeah, sorry to show more, but uh, we were allowed to record it in this area. Football is also on on that one TV to my right, so uh, I can watch the TV maybe. So, uh, too. That's the both worlds. It's uh, Bills Rams, 17 10 right now. Buffalo. Alright, come on. We need heroics. I got it! Go, got it. We could do it right here. Base is loaded. Glaber's up. No! No. 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 Ah, uh, well, I meant to be. Just lost. We tried. Fun launch event, though. So close. That was as close as it gets. But man, good game. We tried. So the event is now over. Took the L, unfortunately. So walk of shame in the parking garage. Uh, couldn't use our cameras, actually. Thought we could, so we got limited footage, but we did get some awesome stuff with Jeter. And that being said, best of luck trying to get that signed jersey number. It's an awesome piece, looks really cool. And uh, also, you can make some offers on those cards that Jeter pulled that are in his showroom. So, definitely one of my heroes growing up. Meeting him now, I'd say even more so. Just the coolest guy and had such a great time. So, thanks to Arena. Ready to go get some sleep, but yeah, so much fun. And hope you guys enjoyed it. So, tons more coming soon. And we want to make this the biggest and the best it can be once again. So, hope you guys like it again. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. But that's it. Until next time, I'll see you later.